it seems like the, the, there's been these reversals, and I talk about that a lot. The left is all about, you know, the deep state now. Oh, you know, how dare Trump go after the deep state? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Listen, just 10 short years ago, the left still remembered that its role was to fight the deep state. The left is not, the, the, the traditional left and liberal and Democrats were never the ones that were the rooting for the deep state. So there's this really perverted uh, changes going on here. When I see uh, people who identify themselves as liberals, I don't use the word liberal anymore. I'm a liberal. I'm a real liberal, a genuine liberal. I'm, I'm anti-war. <laughs> if you're going to be a liberal, you, you have to be anti-war. You can't, you know, there's no such thing as a pro-war liberal. Sorry, no, that's not how it works. If you know anything about the history of liberalism, if you know anything about the history of the Democratic Party, recent history, if you know anything about the history of the left, they're not for uh, these foreign wars, okay? They're the ones who historically have been the custodians uh, of thinking to that war is bad, right? Well, not anymore. And now they're cheering on the Brennan and the Clappers and the Hayden. Just look at these people. You know, they say you can't judge a book by its cover. Listen, with a guy like Brennan, yeah, you judge the book by the cover. Look at the guy. Yeah. And if you know anything about Brennan, your hero, the, the new hero of the left liberal, the so-called left liberals, they're not really left liberals, they're just brain, brainless people who are easily manipulated by the mainstream media. Yeah, let, 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 let's be clear. If you're rooting on people like Brennan to be your savior, guess what? Brennan was a low-level CIA douchebag who Obama plucked out because he had some weird, like, credentials of being a former Communist Party member and uh, being a uh, and being is Islamic. So uh, uh, Obama said, "Well, okay, this guy is sort of like compromised and neutered. I'll put him in a position of power, and this way, you know, he's got to stay in. Like, he's going to be my boy, right?" And uh, Brennan, Brennan's uh, big claim to fame was that he used to draw up hit lists of, of people who were going to get assassinated. And, his, and that's what he did under the Obama administration. You can look it up. Don't trust me. Brennan's role was to draw up the names of lists of people in foreign countries and even Americans. When we uh, uh, killed uh, Alawaki, it was his name, uh, an American citizen who was, uh, who was killed and his son was killed. This is Brennan that did all this stuff. And you're cheering on Brennan as the the hitman in the Middle East as your hero because he's against Trump. You know, I guess if if they if they dredge Hitler out and they, and they resuscitate Hitler and he says I'm against Trump, you'll be what are you gonna do? Oh yay Hitler yay because he's against Trump. You know, you know Genghis Khan is oh Genghis Khan comes back and says I'm against Trump. Oh Genghis Khan yeah he's our hero. You know you know Jack the Ripper. You know I'm against Trump. Oh Jack the Ripper's a great guy.